Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Howard Lefkowitz, the new president for Vegas Winners. How are you doing today, Howard? I am well, thanks. How about you, Rich? I'm doing fantastic. You have an incredible track record as the former CEO of Vegas.com and senior executive of Earthlink and the Home Shopping Network. Amazing, amazing track record. What brought you to Vegas Winners? And can you tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. I'll answer your questions in order. Um, Thank you. Wayne Root, who's our erstwhile CEO and a well-known uh, handicapper for decades, uh, has been a neighbor of mine for quite some time in Vegas. And our families grew up together and, you know, we have our kids hang out and we go, have to, you know, we, we spend a lot of time together. And so when he embarked on this uh, Vegas Winners, um, given that I had a little bit of exposure to the Vegas brand over the years and um, pretty technically and marketing and operationally aware, um, you know, uh, he asked me to get involved and I said, sure, that'd be great. Uh, so that's kind of the, that's the how, which is fairly, uh, uh, it's a pretty entertaining story, actually, and there's more to it, but for another day. And as far as background is concerned, I was originally, um, I was at Earthlink in the very beginning of the internet the days. There were less than a million people on the entire internet. Now there's wow. more than a million people on the internet in your neighborhood. Yeah. Um, so, um, and then uh, before that, I was president of the home shopping telemedia company in Florida. Uh, when people said no one will ever shop on TV, that's just stupid. Um, and then, you know, at Earthlink, you know, people thought the internet was a joke, a fad, et cetera, et cetera. And at Vegas.com, I was told literally no one will ever buy a room or a show ticket in Vegas um, on the internet. That's just never going to happen. And we went from, you know, 30 grand a month to almost a little over 400 million a year. So, wow. um, we've, we, you know, I'm at the section, intersection. I like to think of myself as a, an innovator at the, at the intersection of things. I like that. I like that. An innovator in the intersection of things. How are things going today with Vegas winners? Well, things are great. We're doing a lot of innovative things. Um, we're creating a lot of new technologies. I've been fortunate enough to have a lot of my guys who I work with for decades uh, work with me on this and, and bring in some new blood and some of my marketing, some of the marketing people as well. Um, we're about to, in the next couple of, we're going to start shooting any minute now, actually. Uh, wow. What time is it? What time is it? It's around know. noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Okay. So within hours, we'll begin shooting uh, our first podcast. Wow. Uh, and we're going to do a podcast that's not your typical podcast, I can assure you. There'll be some surprises coming. Wayne will be in it and our my friend uh, for a long time, Angelica Bridges, who was on Baywatch uh, uh, for a number of years. And um, quite a lot of fun. So we're going to do this a little bit differently than normal. Um, as you, we're going to shoot it more like a television show than a podcast. Um, and we're going to have, you know, Wayne, of course, with his decades of expertise in sports gaming and his commentary and a host of other surprises. And that'll start, we're going to start shooting any minute and, uh, we'll be on, uh, on the air in the next couple of weeks. Wow. I'm very excited to see how that, uh, comes out. I'm sure it's going to be a huge success. It's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Now, every company that I've seen that has been hugely successful is typically defining and solving a problem. What is it that you would say that Vegas Winners is solving? What is the problem that you guys are solving? Well, first of all, I think that, again, you know, I'm a serial entrepreneur who looks or tries to look around corners. And so some of the things <clears throat> that get said are things that are, you know, are viewed in a, in a rather, um, through a rather uh, stilted filter of, no, that's never going to happen. No, you're not going to be able to do that. What's wrong with you? A friend of mine was the, one of the earliest guys at Intel, and they were raising money, and they said to him, no, the way you guys talk, it sounds like you think there's going to be a computer chip in every doorknob. And he said, well, there will be. And of course, today, there is. Absolutely. And so the reality is um, the, the problem isn't necessarily a problem. 
it's a you know we're kind of we're trying to do what Wayne Gretzky did skate to where the puck is gonna be not where the puck is because where the puck is it's already too late you don't want to be behind the wave you don't want to be ahead of the wave you want to be there when the wave crests as you probably know dozens of states <clears throat> have most recently legalized gaming uh, sports gambling in particular it is a giant business in fact I would go so far as to say that without gambling, you know, sports would be a whole hell of a lot less popular. I agree a hundred percent with you. That's such a real statement. I have so many friends that only watch football because they gamble on the games. Right. And they right. say to me, Rich, I wouldn't watch if I wasn't, I mean, everyone has their favorite team, but if you're gambling on all the games, now you're watching all the games. You have a reason to watch, right? Because you got money on the line. And I of agree a hundred percent with that statement. Look at the success of Red Zone. Absolutely. You know, people thought that was uh, rather silly, um, but there you have it, right? So I think people love the notion of gaming on sports, whether it's their own pool or a buddy, a friend. I went and sat at the Dodger game behind Emilio Estevez and Charlie Sheen, and they each had a stack of $5 bills, and they were betting every pitch. Okay, he's going to go low and inside. No, I'll take I'll take not low and inside, right? And then this one's going to be a, you know they would bet two and three bets on every pitch. It's wow. going to go to the it's going to the left. It's going to the right. The right field's going to get, and, and they kept swapping five dollar bills the whole game. It was hilarious to sit behind. I bet. So I mean, gaming is you know is a big part of what makes sports sports. I agree with you. And it's also extremely important if you're building a successful business to have a very unique culture. Why would you say Vegas winners culture is unique? Obviously, you've got Wayne Allen Root. He's very unique. What makes Vegas winners culture so special and so unique, in your opinion? Well, there are a couple of reasons, actually. Um, and it's a great question because I believe culture is everything to a business. Um, and I believe brand is a huge component of that culture. And the culture is of the brand. And the brand is of the culture. Um, I'm from Pittsburgh. And in the 1970s, you probably heard that our football team did pretty well okay. <laughs> um, and I was buddies with those a lot of those guys and still am. I'm still friends with a lot of those older players who are now in their 70s. But I grew up around that team, and I watched the team go from 1-13 and with Terry Hanratty as our quarterback to four Super Bowls in, what was it, five or six years with Terry Bradshaw as the quarterback initially and Franco Harris, Frenchie Fuqua, and the Immaculate Reception and all that kind of stuff. And I got this notion, um, you know, around what it's like to be a true team. And football was different in those days. Those guys weren't making a lot of money. They were playing for the love of the game. Okay. Um, football, football was completely different in those days and it was about the love of the game and they were a true team. And I, you know, there are a lot of great stories I could tell you about the, the Pittsburgh Steelers in those days. Uh, but I won't at the end, I will, I won't night right now. How's that? So that notion of team and culture and, you know, being able to call a, a play and understanding that everybody's going to pull in the right direction at the exact right time. That's what, that's what football is all about. And business and football, they have a lot of the same names. There's goals, there's, you know, uh, there's huddles and so on and so forth. Let's huddle up on this. You know, it's, it's, there's a lot of business, uh, football in business. That's kind of number one. Um, and then number two is the notion around gaming and gambling. We have a lot of folks who've been around that brand and around that activity for quite some time. And so we kind of know, a, you know, a, a few things here and there. We've managed to pick up some information along the way that we think we can, that we will bring to this party uh, in a very different sort of way to create that unique experience where we're not, rain's not a Johnny come lately. The company's not Johnny come lately, but we see the vision of the future of sports gaming and sports gambling as well as at the entertainment and the entertainment value around it. And we think that, and that's part of the culture that we bring to the table. Fantastic. Now it's important that companies know what their goals are as far as financing and mergers and acquisitions. Do you guys have any needs as far as financing and mergers and acquisitions for the future? And if so, what are they? Uh, we're in the middle of a current offering. I can't okay. speak to it because I'm not, permitted to do so. And that's fine. 
Um, but we're also looking for some acquisitions and you might expect an announcement or two shortly. Um, we're working on some things here and there. And, um, you know, that, that's basically it. We are looking for some appropriate and effective acquisitions that tie into our overall model and our needs. And, um, and that's, that's kind of long and short of it as much as I can talk about here anyway. Thank you very much for sharing. And it's important for us to understand as shareholders what some of the milestones are for the company in the next 12 months. Can you talk about some of the milestones that you guys are setting forth for the company? Well, I can say a few things about that without, you know, crossing lines. And, you know, as you know, uh, gaming is a, a highly regulated space. So, you know, we have to be careful as is, uh, you know, uh, finance. So in general, I would say that um, th- we are working on, as I said, the podcast, we will be launching our new app imminently. We'll be launching our new website shortly. Um, we intend to uh, have a whole lot of interesting distribution relationships that I can't get into. Um, but, you know, you could, you know, and, and, and we're going to be a major player in this multi scores of billions of dollars, the, the business that is. If you look at, if you look at uh, DraftKings and so on, for example, and one of my buddies is one of the original investors at DraftKings, I mean, they have shares of 33 cents a, a share. What is it now? Like eighty dollars, seventy, eighty bucks. That would incredible. be more. Even I could do that math. Yeah. So, uh, gaming is 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 in its infancy. We are still at the very very beginning. The broadest part of the market has yet to occur. We're not even close. We still have half the states that haven't even shown up at the dance, and you know they will, because they all need the revenues. Yeah, no, I see that 100%. Mm-hmm. Now, speaking on that, Rich TV Live has about close to 100,000 followers worldwide watching our show on all social media mm-hmm. and over 100 countries that are going to see this interview, see this video. Wow. Why would an investor be interested in investing in Vegas winners? What's in it for the investor? Well, I mean, we think it's going to be a good investment. We're investing our money and our time. Uh, and we look at the overall industry and say, you know, this is the gaming industry. I know that you may find this shocking, but we think that gambling is going to catch on. I don't know. <laughs> maybe no. maybe yes, maybe no, right? Um, but now it's going to be a lot easier for people to do that. And that's really what this boils down to. You no longer, you know, let's, let's face it. I mean, Vegas started a long time ago and it was the only place you could do it for the for the longest time if you remember the state of nevada and then from there you know there was the indian reservations and uh, you know th- this is no different than any other industry this is no different than retail this is no different than movies this is no different than television this is just the next wave of that this is no different than the hotel airbnb sort of those sort of notions this is no different than that business And I have found myself at the vortex of those things for the last, I don't know any different. I mean, unfortunately, I can't, (laughs) I just don't know the difference. And um, this is the next wave of that. I agree with you 100%. Now, in speaking on investors, investors are going to see this interview, see this video, and be interested in contacting you or Vegas Winners. What's the best way for them to get in contact with the company? I would go to VegasWinners.com. I, I'm pretty sure there's a, a, a contact us on there. You can also look at the press releases and there's contact information there. And you can just send in anything and send it to me and I'll get it and I will get right back. Um, we're a very responsive bunch. We're pretty electronically tied at the hip, you know? So thank you so much for that's your probably time. probably the best thing. Thank you so much for your time today. How Rich, thanks for having you? me. It's been a pleasure to, to hang out with you for a while. Yeah, and hopefully we can do this again. We've been a big fan following Vegas winners since the start. We've had all the key players on the show. We're really excited to have you on the show and learn more and continue to watch this company grow and evolve. Now, remember, guys, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. And if you like the video, smash the like button, comment on the video, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. I'm here, your host, Rich from Rich TV Live. 
with our very special guest who has been joining us today, Howard Lefkowitz of Vegas Winners. Have yourself a great day, Howard, and thank you for joining us today. Thanks, you too. I'll see you again soon with more stuff to talk about. I look forward to it, Howard. Have a great day, and thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody.